everyone, my name is Pallescent Moon and welcome back to another episode of Hemocraft Season 8. Halloween is now officially, I guess, technically over. I don't know if anybody celebrates, you know, a week after Halloween, but it's over for me. So we are back to our regular jacket skin. But, you know, Pumpkin Dude can stay for a little bit longer, at least until the spot needs to be occupied. Now there is one thing that I would like to mention to you guys before I fully start this episode and that is the fact that um yeah I after about what three to four months of playing on the server I died and lost all of my gear and it wasn't even my fault. Mm -hmm. So we were streaming the other day and I was kind of just sitting out there I was farming some concrete powder you know putting it in the water and mining it up and getting the concrete back and it turns nighttime. And you know, I usually sleep at nighttime, but during that particular stream, for some reason, my internet had decided to die on me. But in about the 10 seconds or so it takes to disconnect me from the server, where I can't see anything happening on my side, a zombie had come up to me and killed me. I didn't even know that I died until Mumbo had told me on Discord, like, Pearl, you, you just died. It, are you okay? And no, I very much wasn't okay. I didn't know I died and my internet was not coming back so I couldn't get online to save all of my stuff. Mumbo did try and save all of my gear but unfortunately wasn't able to get there in time and it despawned right as he found it. So I did have to kind of recollect all of my gear, get all my netherite stuff back. Luckily my axe, my boots and pumpkin dude were actually saved by the zombie who killed me. So I did get those but I got, I got pretty much fresh gear. And you know what? I named it this time. So here are a few little names of all of the gear that I have. I don't have any names for my armor yet. We'll figure that out. But I have Stabby Nuggetry, Dig Dug Nuggetry, Chopped Nuggetry, which is the original axe, by the way, one of the infinity axes I made at the very start of the season. Pinky Picked Nuggetry for my Silky Axe. Shooty Nugget Tree and Multiplied Nugget Tree. You know, I kind of got a little bit tired of accidentally mining stuff with my Fortune Pickaxe and then vice versa with the Silk, so now hopefully that problem should be solved. I have come to notice that I've basically ended up right next to my shop during my intro, so I'm just going to take a little bit of a quick check to see if uh, we've made any more sales and as I expected, it looks like the creeper has blown up and it's left a nice, uh, lovely creeper shaped hole in my boats. I do wonder who did that, <laughs> but that's fine. There's a, a lovely hole there now. But let's just check uh, how many items have been sold in my shop. I did have to rub myself of my netherite ingots uh, to get my gear back, unfortunately. So I've only got one ingot in there, but that's okay. A glass has sold yet again, another 12 diamonds, which is pretty good. And that's everything that's sold. But you know what? That's completely fine. The glass is still popping off like crazy. So I'm going to have to restock that at some point. We have a post editing pearl here. I'd just like to interrupt the video for one moment to mention a special announcement. For two years or so, I really wanted to make a pearlescent moon plushie for the community. And now we officially have one thanks to makeshift. Our new little limited edition Pearl plushie launched late last week and is available until the end of the month for pre-order. So if anyone is interested in owning this soft little pearlo to take with them on their journey, head over to Makeshift using the link that I'll be leaving down in the description below. I'm super excited for this little plushie and I think Makeshift did an absolutely fantastic job on the design. With that said, let's get back into the episode. Regardless, all that put aside, we're actually going to start off this episode with something that happened earlier this week involving a certain hat and a certain wonderful scar. You know, how about we just roll the clip? Let, let's just roll the clip right now. You guys have a look. <laughs> Wait for me, Pearl. Oh, oh <laughs> Pearl. Hello, Scar. Wow, there is oh. a lot of animals in here. There is a lot of animals in here. And look at this. Got you jelly. must have a... You must have a very plentiful composting situation here. This is... <laughs> what are you saying? Are you saying I have poop all over my house? <laughs> you know, I'm not saying it, but I am implying it. Look, I'm Pearl, a good I'm a cleaner, okay? Ooh, a present? Yes. I have a present. I, have a present. Yes. I like here, presents. Here, yes, 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 come. yes. Come. This way, this way. Ooh, I like the horn. So this here Ooh. is the Electric Pine Power Company now converted into the oh. Swagon. This is so neat. Shop. Oh, cool. Oh, I love the power lines. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. we got a Tesla coil I and even, everything you in here. Even got the got fabrics. A little production line. Oh. Oh, are you selling? Are you selling my pumpkin accessories? No, I had to use them for decorations. Oh, I hope okay. you're okay with that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like that. So, Pearl, would you like to be the beta tester of <gasps> the official Swagon Hatomatic machine? I would love to be. This is so exciting. Work in progress yes. for the name. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. stand up here. Mm -hmm. Stand right here. Oh, this isn't dangerous, is it? Oh. Okay. Oh no no! It looks it's very dangerous. No no this no is no! You, you you keep those oh. bits out of there. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm not so, touching anything. <laughs> this is a proof. This is unproven technology. So, mm -hmm. oh, remove remove your hat. Please. Oh, Thank okay. You. I shall. Oh, there we go. Smell like okay. pumpkin, dude. Here <laughs> we go. Oh. oh, cross your fingers that this oh. works. Come on. Fireworks. Yes. Ooh, ooh. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Oh, it's, it's that a lava and an upside down hat. Yes. <laughs> that is so cute. Step out of the oh. hat o matic and, and, uh, and admire your brand new hat. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. That is love really it. funny. Do, do I look fantastic in my hat, Scar? Oh, very fantastic. Look, fantastic. look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if you want to name the llama, or maybe the viewers can name the llama, but I, that llama's going to need a name. I think the viewers should name the llama. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> That is adorable. Oh, man. It, it is it is really good. I I have not seen that one um, like on a person. So seeing oh. it, it, it is really Wait, cool. Can I see it on you? I, I would like to. Is that oh, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I, Pop it over. I want to see this on you. Oh, it's so big. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't love realize my head was that big, Scar. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There it is. It's like a little it's like a little construction hat with a tiny little logo. It's right a little easier it. to see without the name tag. Yeah. Oh my gosh. True, true, true. There we go. Oh, that is fantastic. I, I love the addition. You know what? It goes really well with all the animals in my building. <laughs> I love how guy. big they are. <laughs> Here, wait, hold it in your hand. Hold it in your hand. my extremely large size head. Oh, there we go. This is like a, like a hat, like oh. a fencing battle right now. It is. Ready, ready. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So Wait, what if we did it on the uh, on the on the the horses, the company cars? It would be oh, a true, oh, true, yeah. true <clears throat> fencing I, battle. Mm. <laughs> I Scar. lost my company car. Scar. Don't tell Mumbo. <laughs> what What are we gonna do with you at this point? How have you lost I, your I, company I, car? What are you What are I, you doing? It, it, it rode off on its own. I I can't control their 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 their, their movements. Mm, I mean, you could leash it to a post. Have, have you not? Have you not done that? You do have a you know, post out the front of your base with a bunch of lost my big, animals. My big brain thoughts just weren't firing at the moment. That would have been a big brain thought there, Pearl. Or just a normal brain thought, actually. Just a normal brain. I mean, we have these big hats with the appear really large in our hands. You would think you would have big brain moments often, but don't. <laughs> just a lot of hot air up there. Just a lot, a lot, lot of, of empty, empty space. Empty space. Oh dear. But uh, yeah, this was the uh, this was the old electric pine power company converted into the. Uh, the hat ah, shop. That is so neat. I love all the little details you have added as well. Look, look did at you these. see the giant hat on top? I did see the giant hat on top. <laughs> <laughs> did you enlarge one of the hats that you already had to, to put it up there? <laughs> the hat matic is a mysterious device that can do many, many things. Many wild things. And uh, one of them is to insert hats and or expand hats. It's uh -huh. a, it is quite the achievement in technology. Can you make but, hats even uh, smaller? Yeah, Pearl, <laughs> I, hope, I hope you like your hat. I love um, my I, hat. I think it came out really cool. <laughs> it's a little bucket hat with the llama. That's going to get me every time I go to F5 now. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Scott. I will wear this proudly. Pumpkin Dude is going to have to take a little bit of a backseat for a hot minute, but it's the fine. The only requirement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is at the end of the episode, you have to sing a llama a song with that on your head. I have to sing a llama song? You have to make up a llama song. Oh, llama. no. Oh, llama, no. Llama, now llama. The, now there is an I'm expectation. Llama, 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 llama. Look at my hat. I've got a llama hat. It's a little bucket hat. And pumpkin dude. I love it. All right, so I, I guess Pumpkin Dude didn't hold the spot for too long after Halloween, but you know what? We can always just switch between this adorable hat that Scar has given us and Pumpkin Dude every now and then. But look at this thing. It's so cute. It's got a little llama. It's got a little llama poking out the top of a construction hat. It's because I'm the architecture lady of Fodum, so it's perfectly related to my role, and it is absolutely adorable. Oh, check out this thing, guys. Look at that. It's so cute because it goes with Padlamico as well. So it's Padlamico mixed with my little my little bottom job and I love it. I love it so much. As much as we have to switch out Pumpkin Dude, you'll always be in my heart, Pumpkin Dude. 
I promise. Not only that, though, we now have to come up with a, a llama song by the end of the episode. I'm not exactly the most uh, musical person you might come across, and I'm certainly not a composer. So, uh, you know, I'm sure whatever comes out of this, um, it's probably going to be really bad, but I'll do my best, okay? I'll, I'll do my best, guys. I'm going to have to think of something while we do whatever we're doing today. It's fine. I am speed. Someone's got a little speedy beacon around here. <laughs> yeah. Regardless, though, what about the name for this hat, guys? Like, what kind of name do you think should be that, that little llama in the hat? I think it has to be something related to Padlamico. I think I, I think that is the most fitting. If you guys can think of a really punny name to go with Padlamico, let me know down in the comments below. I want to hear it. I want to read it. Either way, this is the perfect time for a hard hat type of hat on my head because, as we mentioned in the last episode, we have some base expanding to do. I haven't been, you know, all too fond of the base, but I think that is honestly about to change. I've prepared my very own shulker box monster with an assorted amount of resources in it that I believe I'm going to need for this thing. And as it is, I actually want to expand the base way more than I currently have done for this uh, little red wool outline I have here. We are going full blown castle today. We're expanding it all the way down here, all the way where I've marked it. I've also read the feedback on my latest episode about the boat lotus and that is actually going to be staying. I'm just simply going to move it. So I'm excited to get stuck into this guys as I'm sure some of you may also be excited to see it. Either way, I'm gonna get going and uh, let's just let's start the time lapse. Let's do it. a second I was, I was just finishing up my builds where where's all my crops gone it's only moss here hold on a sec what hello uh, pump pumpkins why does my ship look wait where's my second llama why is my boat patched up with pumpkins and where's my other llama okay i oh my gosh that's the first time i've had a mob die in a boat but where why why doesn't anybody patch up the holes with the actual materials and my copper's broken too. What on earth? Okay, well, by the way, I made 30 diamonds in my netherite box and I went mining for, for more netherite and restocked that. Um, oh, hey, all my tufts sold out too. <laughs> I need to restock that as well. Okay, so we made diamonds, but we have a hole in our ship now. Well, okay then, I guess that's just something I'll have to accept. Wait, where's my beacon? What, is, <laughs> what has someone done to my base? Come on, where's my beacon at? Why, why is my beacon not shy? Oh... What? What? The big guys send their loving regards? Is this bedrock? What? How is this possible? I can't get so much. What? This is legitimately bedrock, guys. Like, I, I can't mine this. Wait. What? Wait, what? Oh, what? What? <laughs> They, they're paintings. Are they all legitimately paintings? Is it? Wait, what? How did they do this? So I'm trying to exactly understand how on earth they've done what they've done. Have they placed like a block beside these or something? Because these are apparently paintings, but it looks like a full block. So I'm, I'm extremely confused right now. Can I put this down? Like, what does it look like if I put it down? Okay, I can't. I can't put it. Oh. Okay, then I place that on the bed. What? I have honestly, like, it's clear that this isn't bedrock at this point. Legitimately, okay, okay. So it's, it's a named painting, but I, I whacked, I whacked before, and nothing came off. Like, is it around the sides? Maybe. Is it only on certain, certain faces? Can I get rid of any of these? No. That is. It's like. Oh. That one came off. It's almost like magic. I put that back down again. But then it's, but then it's like it pokes out more than the other ones do. This is so strange. This is so strange, guys. Wait, what if I make this item frame invisible? There we go. Okay, so it's an invisible item frame with kind of like a, 
it's it's like a full block, but it's not a full block. It's it's very confusing how they've managed to do all of this. And if you take off that painting, then it takes off the coating of the block. It's like some kind of like model magic. I I don't even know. I don't even know. But that that's absolutely fantastic. Oh my word. I was so worried how I was going to get to all my items for a hot minute there and wondered how on earth they did that in the first place. But uh, well played. <laughs> well played, me guys. Well played. Well, Obsidian and, you know, shop blown up aside, look at my base. Look, look at my base. This is looking so much better than it was before. I am way, way happier with it. And also, as you guys can see, I have kept the boat lotus. All I did was simply just move it up and now it's way more visible than it was before. And if we come down here onto the ground, just as the sun is setting and the phantoms are swooping in, look at that. I'm just gonna ignore him for just a moment, but look at that view. We have the light from the windows of the, like the shroom light around the bottom where I've made this kind of like slight diagonal wall shaped thing with some towers and I think it honestly looks fantastic. And then your eye is just immediately directed up to that main tower up there, which is the complete point of the castle being like a lighthouse castle. It needed a center point. And I've added another tower on the side there. And we also have just another one out the back to kind of balance out the whole thing a little bit. I know later down the line, we are going to have to kind of make some more walls around the back here to help balance out the front. But I think otherwise it's come out really, really nicely and I'm just, I'm extremely happy with it. If we look at the left side of my new expansion on the base as well, I've also made some kind of like little, little white bridge that comes over from my zone to Scar and Green's. And Green's also told me that he doesn't actually intend to use this area anymore and I could potentially now do something with that. One part that I did have in my mind is like, what if we decorate this up as part of the structure and some kind of entrance into my base. So if we get rid of this terrain right here, we could add in a really smooth fly-in section that opens up to like all of my hidden farms underneath the castle itself. I think it definitely has a lot of potential and is definitely something that I could do in the future. But otherwise, take a look at it from above and let me know what you guys think. I, we have a little bit of snow newly developing on it because I haven't strung it up yet, but I'm I'm just really happy with it. I think it looks a lot more castle-like now. It's so good. And we got the boat lotus. Yay. Now, I just want to give you guys a little bit of quick context about what's about to happen because Impulse is kind of... Um, let me know that he would like to have a chat to me about finding some moonkins and there is a reason for that. So let me just quickly update you guys on what exactly that is about. This was actually an event that happened during his stream and it, it's a bit of like an inside joke. There was a moment where Impulse would kind of put down his redstone box and um, in one of those streams I actually took that redstone box and hid it. In which he then found it later. And then I did it again recently. <laughs> I took it and hit it again. As a joke, of course, he's all for it. And um, uh, I actually hit it in the truck that is behind this shop here. And uh, we made a bit of a deal. We made a bit of a deal that um, he would go and find 31 moonkins around Botum and he would return them to me. And in return, I would give him back the box. So he's just sent me a little bit of a message that he has all of those moonkins and he would like to uh, do a little bit of a trade. So let's go catch up with him. Pearl, mm -hmm. I've been up and down all over Bodum and it took an hour, but I found all 30. Actually, I found an extra one. All 31. All 31? What are these things called? Moonkins. You, you know, there's... I found 31 moonkins. You know, there's 47 red impulse. 47? No. Oh, what? oh I found 32 <laughs> actually. One fell in the bottom hole, oh. so that's gone. Oh, 32. So what's that leave? There's <laughs> still like 15 more then? Yeah, roundabouts, including one right there that you seem to have missed after spending an hour looking for them. What are you talking about? It's right oh there. Oh my gosh, it's literally <laughs> right here. Right there in a what? bush. Oh, I. You tried. You it's don't okay. know how hard it was for me to find the last couple ones. It, uh, Pearl, I gotta admit something though. What? Um, I blew up your your shop a little bit. <laughs> okay, let me. I I walked on that earlier. Are you the one who patched it up with pumpkins? That's all I had on me. You patched up my boat with pumpkins, info. <laughs> I thought if I put them down, it would be a good clear marker that it needed to be repaired. I'm sorry, I had no idea what it looked like. Uh -huh. before and I, I didn't know what to do. My llama is but, dead um, now, Impulse. What are you gonna do about the llama, huh? That's a life. 
It's gone. I can't do anything about the lava. Not but you lava. brought this on yourself. You brought it on yourself because you stole my redstone box. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, fair enough. Fair enough. I deserve that. But the llama, though, Impulse, the llama. The llama, though. Oh, may he rest in pieces with Timmy the pig. Yeah. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm bringing back some old stuff, aren't I? Oh, anyway, so there's your moonkins. Thank and you. I was doing the server some, you know, a favor because those item frames are known to be a little laggy. So no lag at all. Getting rid of them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So but um, you made a promise. Uh -huh. You were going to give me my redstone box. Yeah, I, I need my redstone box. Is there All something right. very important inside of it? It's on the... Okay. Okay. So the, the deal was, you know, 30, 31 moonkins for the redstone box. Right, right? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Just come this way. Right? Oh. Look at this nice Wait. little nice little truck. You know, you, you got out, you got out, you got uh -huh. outside, you know, ready to deliver some sweets. Um, mm -hmm. It's also kind of delivered your, your redstone box. Well, at least it, it wasn't. Oh, there. you put it in the truck. <laughs> it's in the truck. This is why yeah. I carry ender pearls. Oh, it makes fun ow, of me for. Oh, you pooped well, out a I nugget. Mean, there's that. You pooped out there's a that. nugget. <laughs> Pulse, your poops are deadly. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> but, okay, great. This is what I want. Oh. Uh, I should tell you, this isn't actually my redstone box. You took another random one that just happened to be red. Oh, is it? I mean, it didn't look like it had but, much in it, either way. No, it had something still, very special in it that I don't see anymore pearl this is why i wanted it back actually is because mm -hmm. i actually had my hat in here as you may notice i'm not wearing my hat because it was in my you have my hat <laughs> you're looking oh. for this thing pearl. jokes on you i stole your hat oh i'm not finding any more moon kids. okay <laughs> what do you mean you got 47 in total to find in balls oh no i don't have time for that <laughs> Time for that. Okay. I'll, I'll help you oh. fix the part that blew up on your your shop there. If I can have my hat. It's it's okay. You can you spend an hour looking for the moonkins and it I'll is. accept it. That's very honorable. You can have it back. Oh, oh it's angled too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it angles on the ground. It angles on my oh. head. Oh, that is much better. You look fantastic. Oh, I feel good having my very hat dashing. back. Very <laughs> dashing. <laughs> thank you. It was fun though going around looking for the moonkins. I'd kind of yeah. wish I'd done it before the Halloween and got more of the cool hats. But um, anyway, they're totally not going to be here. Clean tomorrow. up the lag here in Bodum. <laughs> You know? Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit oddly lag, isn't it? We still don't know what it is. We're gonna have to find out. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. I I'm just anything. Not that these are causing lag, but they just they look big. Um, <laughs> anything I can think of to to get rid of the lag, I've been going around doing so. Okay. Um, anyway. Well, well, I'm glad to have my hat back. Well, it's good so doing, thank you for good, that. Good doing deal. Good doing deal. Good. Good, good doing business with you. There we go. It came out. It's eventually. great doing business. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> and I'll leave you to the other fifteen. Fourteen now, right? Pins. Oh yeah, I just got another one. Is it fourteen? All by myself. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, fourteen. You're welcome. Math is hard. <laughs> Don't make me do math. I'm out of here. I'm, my brain hurts. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You've got to have to support the lovely brain now. You'll be okay. Exactly. That's what it was. Yeah. I, my, my brain was cold without That's all the hat. You Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, that was fun. I'll see you later. Indeed. I'll catch you later, impulse. Bye. Yep. Well, at least it appears we found the culprit for, you know, who blew up our shop and patched it with pumpkins. <laughs> Thank you, Impulse. We'll fix it later. It's no problem. And it appears in between that cliff with uh, Impulse and I and now, I've kind of been informed that we have a little bit of extra bedrock by the looks of it from the Big Eyes crew down the bottom of the Bodum Hole. And from what I've heard, I don't think the rest of the Bodum crew are going to let these... Uh, little uh, bedrock thing slide. So we need to do a little bit of action ourselves right back at him. So let's catch up with the other Bodum folk and uh, see what we're gonna do. All right, guys, we need to retaliate to what Tango has done to the Bodum hole. He's put back the bedrock and I can't figure out how to get rid of it now, we, whatever. What I'm mm -hmm. suggesting we do is another boat attack because that's the best I could come up with. I suggest we put a big boat over the top of their shopping district, which makes it all dark, and then all the mobs can spawn and sit in the other boats from before. <laughs> oh my gosh. That sounds so fantastic. Big boat. This is massive. Big boat. <laughs> big boat. <-em. laughs> Big boat. Big, big it's literally going to be a big boat. <laughs> it's it's uh, fr through some calculations, mm -hmm. I think we have enough. If we put this kind of dedication, if we sold th these logs at Botum, how actually, much money yeah. would we make? We could actually be profitable. Oh my gosh. We could oh, wait, be... are we using Ren and Doc's prices? Because we'd be rich. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeez. Why aren't we doing this? Three diamonds a stack. What are we thinking? 
Stop being a CEO. Let's go and build a big yeah. boat. Because <laughs> that's like, priorities. Can I just say, as a CEO, I 100% approve of this complete wastage of resources. <laughs> this is yeah, such a go. waste of diamonds. <laughs> this is just like even. Oh. All right, ready to. Like, what is this? Four person time lapse? Four person time lapse. Four person time lapse. will yeah. be interesting. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. done it's <sighs> look at that drop shadow look at the attention to detail on this old school prank it literally yeah, this looks... is the oldest of old school pranks this is excellent back to 2012 at this point was building this big back then no way pearl, true how, no. massive with it pearl how many <laughs> how many blocks of wood was it Oh, that was what nine thousand logs 9, uh, oak logs at least wait hang on if so we're gonna 11, go if we're gonna go 12 if we are going to go 2012, you can't just say 9,000, Pearl. You need to take this to 2012. What is it? What was it, Pearl? I mean, we can say one if oh, you like. Over 9, <laughs> it was over 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm one of those old school kids that doesn't get the memes right now. <laughs> oh, what? I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh. oh, sorry. My brain's fried. We just built a giant wooden boat. Can you blame me? I Come know. On. We're all fried, but yeah, it's frazzle so worth it. This this started out as a hey guys let's just build a big boat <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. it turns out it took many hours of gathering building designing and mm -hmm. I I don't regret it at all this is a thing no. of beauty I don't know what they're gonna do with it though but it's casting a shadow as planned and the mobs mm -hmm. have already started filling in the boats yeah they're taking up residence <laughs> there is creepers it's, it's everywhere seriously dangerous. oh my goodness <laughs> it's, this is it's, dangerous. And it, wait, hold oh, on. Oh. Let, what about the mountain? The mountain was seriously dangerous. Yeah, if you look in the back, there yeah, is creepers in every boat. Calm down. <laughs> it's oh it's my God, ridiculous. This is wild. I'm getting hit by skeletons. I literally oh, yeah. Can't they're see. everywhere. Oh, oh, yep. oh, okay, oh there, there, goes. there goes that. He's already setting it off. <laughs> it took two I'm seconds. So oh, my goodness. <laughs> As a I man can that can't me. kill things, this is this is not my my this is not my place. <laughs> this <laughs> place is like so Okay, so if if someone just like digs a hole underground and goes <laughs> AFK, will these boats just naturally fill up? Over I time? think so. Probably. Probably. I would imagine so. I've got nothing planned. Yeah, we're still, we're still on a mission to break the server. Go bury the potato. I'm definitely bury the tempted. potato underground. It'll sprout yeah, some exactly. creepers. It'll... <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Let's looks... take a look at what this boat looks like from the sky. We opted for upside down so we could put by at bottom underneath. This mm. looks so good though that it's, it's almost like, it's annoying because it's such a stupid concept that's been executed <laughs> so hilariously well. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> it's like, it's like one of those things where it's just like, why have we done this? We put so much time into making this as good as possible. Mega base? Like, Green, nah. you spent... <laughs> Mega boat? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Giant boat. <laughs> oh, the oars, everything. Yeah, <laughs> this is serious detail. detail. This was such a colossal waste of time, but I loved every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely totally. could have used the, like our collective time. Like, think there's four of us here. You know, we've got we've got like 16 hours of collective brain energy here, yeah. plus all the resources that we gathered, yeah. plus the diamonds that we ended up spending to get more resources. Think how much we could have done that would have been positive for Botan. We and yet... made a horrific loss because we ran out of wood and had to buy <laughs> loads of wood <laughs> yes. from a competitor. From a competitor, <laughs> we spent our own money. <laughs> <laughs> at a competitor's to build a giant thing that says buy it both. And we could have we just... achieved the same thing with just a sheet of blocks over the top. <laughs> yeah, Wouldn't have been as impactful. style in Bodom, you know that, right? <laughs> that is, this is with style. I think we yeah. spent more than we do. We, we make a point and we make a loss. That's how we do things. Yeah. Pretty sure we spent more diamonds I mean, buying the boat than this is actually going to give us in return. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tells me. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, eventually, eventually we're going to start making some diamonds, right, Mumbo? Right, Mumbo? Right, uh, right, right, right. right. Does Mumbo. anyone have any plans? Does anyone have any plans outside of this? <laughs> you're supposed to have the plan, anyone? Mumbo. You're the CEO. So this this uh, was the plan, and it, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Good. At least I've got one vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with the fact that this was my idea. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Always been yeah. added. As the man on the top, all ideas are my ideas, all right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's nice to see the head of marketing has stepped up big time lately. Yeah, I'm loving and it. Uh, this is officially their problem. I'm out. Yep.
Oh, yeah. we're in a group, so you can still hear us. We're in a group, yeah, no, there's, there's no, no, no dramatic effect there. It didn't really work out. It's also awkward. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. have any rockets to leave, yeah. so I'm just going to stay here. I don't get time, right? <laughs> oh, one three. rocket. You can just see if I can get back to the base in one I'm rocket. I'm going to go three. <laughs> oh, gosh, you guys are poor. Oh, my God. Yeah, we are terrible. All right, I'm going. You can you had sure to give me four. You told me four, and what? then you gave me four extra. Can you just get back on four? I've got Oh, we're still, we're still in a group. In Impulse, we're still in a group. I thought she wouldn't true. have heard. <laughs> I thought she wouldn't have heard. I'm standing right behind you. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just, you, you gotta be a pro and say, bye. Bye. I gotta say, I wonder how the big eyes crew are gonna retaliate from that. Things are getting absolutely bonkers. That said, we are coming to the end of the episode, but I have two last things to mention. I'm just going to do a quick little, a little bit of a boop right here, right now. And there we go, guys. I have a nice new and freshly updated skin from our wonderful skin artist, Liv, who I will leave a link to in the description below. So please go and make sure you check them out and give them lots of love. But they felt like they really wanted to kind of update our skin to their current style and give it a little bit of a revitalization. So we now have this one. All of the features are pretty much still the same. It's just a slight little uh, texture slash hue change. Take off my armor here and you can see it a little bit better. So we still have our shorts. We still have our little shoes. We still have the hood, all that kind of good jazz. And of course, I've also got those lovely two little strands of hair that come down the front of the skin too, which I think looks absolutely wonderful. A fun fact, my old versions of my skins actually had hair down the front as well. Just somewhere along the line, the hair was removed. So we decided to kind of put it back in this iteration. And uh, I feel like it represents, you know, me a little bit more. So I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to share some love to our wonderful artist Liv, who of course I mentioned earlier is linked in the description below. Please go send them all the love. And here it is, last but not least. This is probably something you guys have been waiting for since my last episode. And I am so ready to show you what we've been working on. Of course, a little bit earlier in the episode, we had a little bit of a chat to Scar, who, you know, when he gave us the hat, he told us the condition that we had to sing a llama song at the end of our episode with the hat on. And instead of me, you know, being overly cringy and just singing a random song, just running around the server, I decided to go and ask a lovely Jono Smithers if we could collaborate on the Llama song. This is also another lovely person who I will be leaving a link to in the description below. So please go make sure to check them out because I don't think I've ever been so hyped for a Hermitcraft episode before. This Llama song came out so well. And you know what? Jono absolutely smashed it out of the park. We both have singing vocals in the music itself and he compiled it to such a wonderfully finessed piece that I think we both are just extremely proud of and we just absolutely love. So let's wait no further. Let's get that sweet, sweet song into the ears of many. I met a baby llama on the mountain that wandered many miles away from home. I told the llama I was just like them. You and I could use a family. We traveled many miles across the ocean, seen wonders that few eyes have ever seen. With friendship, love, hard work, and devotion, we'll take on this barren sea. Eating grass inside a boat, sharing with the smelly goat. Don't fall out, it's hard to float. Blame it on a fairy coat, golden city's mine. My love, but I'm so glad that I found you. You and I sing song in harmony. Make our own paloma coat, sit in any deadly boat. Dress our soul in golden gowns, turn the city upside down. I'll go.
And there we go, guys. What did you think of the llama song? I believe it's being titled Any Way You Go, and I think that fits it so, so well. It kind of gives off like Disney slash Pixar vibes, and I'm all here for it. So once again, please, please go check out Jono. I'm going to be leaving, of course, that link in the description below. Please go send them all the love in the world because I don't I don't, they just they did so well on the music and I, I really could not be happier so please go send them all of that love and just let them know how much you really appreciate their work because they they just did so well I'm so happy full credits to Jono by the way guys all I did was just give a bit of direction and, and kind of like what type of song that we wanted and he just came back with something that was absolutely magical and of course, I did a little bit of singing in that too, and he managed to make my voice actually not sound half bad. <laughs> Absolutely a fantastic job. And that's it for today's episode, guys. We did so, so much today. It was an absolutely super packed episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any feedback for the episode, please let me know down in the comments below. With that said, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lama.